Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask, so I'll tell you. The accept meaning of angel is messenger and the accept meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And of course, I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Heather Fisher-Price. But before that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching the show live for a later date, as it means a lot to us to connect with like-minded people. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, create your future and transform your present to expand your consciousness, understand your spiritual path, get clarity on your next steps and take charge of your destiny so that you can fulfill your purpose in this lifetime. Now, each episode of the show covers various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel oracle card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests like today's guest, Heather Fisher-Price, about mediumship, angelic communication and so much more. Now, Heather, an MA, ENTP, CFSP, QHD, CHT, is a mentor who assists you in connecting with your guides, angels and spirits to unlock your true potential and gifts. Now, early in life, Heather had a profound connection with spirits and other multidimensional beings. And at the same time, she started to experience a series of health crises that prompted her to begin combining different healing modalities and weaving them into her daily practices. As Heather's spiritual practice and connection with the guys evolved, so did her understanding of others from a mind, body, spirit and soul purpose uh, perspective. Now, as an adult, she began integrating a number of spiritual techniques for nutrition to human design, energy healing and deep wisdom from her guides to help clients make major transform transformations in their lives. Clients also began approaching her to connect with their departed loved ones but also to clear their homes and business spaces of spirits and negative energy. And her practice grew exponentially. Now, Heather's natural ability to connect with and cross over trapped spirits and clear the home's energy have since then helped so many to bring positivity back into their life. She also hosts the Integra uh, podcast, bringing listeners inspiration, wisdom and wellness as she interviews leaders in the fields of well, wellness, spiritual in, guidance and functional medicine. Now, her podcast is available on all uh, platforms. Now, with testimonials such as working with Heather has been one of my best overall experiences so far. She is a genuine intuitive, unlike many people in her field. Heather is not willing to let her ego be the, her guiding light. And Heather was able to connect with my grandmother. She described her and shared things there is no way she would have known. And Heather empowers her clients to discover that they are just as magical as she is. I feel armed with clarity and momentum to overcome any obstacles, as well as protect and truly supported in my way forward. I wouldn't recommend anyone else. So without further delay, hello, Heather, and welcome to the Angels and Destiny show. How are you today? I'm good. I am just, I'm doing great. That was, that was a quite an introduction. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate that. So ah, you're welcome. It'll be interesting to go deeper into it as mm -hmm. when we start the show. So before we do um, get in this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that not only can you share this video, but you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts as Heather and I want you to be part of this conversation. So please don't be shy. So Heather, why don't you tell us more about your journey and how integrating spiritual techniques together can make major transformations in our lives? Yeah, so it really did start young um, for me. Now, I will say that um, a lot of those gifts have been awakened, you know, in my uh, later years. But it did start young for me as I, I have memories of those times connecting with multidimensional beings in my room and, you know, spirits and all of that energy. Um, and so it was a big part of me. And I think part of that um, just tamping down of those energies is one of the reasons why I had so many health issues as a child and into adulthood. And as I have cleared those 
and I just, I am living a more, really with more vitality and energy and it's so wonderful. So, you know, a little more background, I um, really uh, was pulled back into the spiritual world uh, right after college. I had gone to a college that was um, on the religious side and, um, and really felt like I was kind of in a marshmallow world is what I used to call it because I was like, there's so, I know there's so much more out here and you know, it's, it's, we're being kind of suppressed here in some ways. I mean, there was really, uh, it was a liberal arts college. So there was this critical thinking, but at the same time, uh, there was not that connection to spiritual. And once I moved into, um, the city and uh, in my hometown, uh, I started going to the metaphysical shops and being drawn to the You Are Psychic books and uh, stones and crystals. And at that time, that was uh, early, that was like 1990, crystal, oh. you know, power bracelets and all of these things that, you know, uh, were really brought forth, I feel like, with that consciousness shift, you know, in the late 80s. And so I started reading books and just and spending more time in these shops and learning more and more and meeting people who really helped me on my journey. Uh, my I changed jobs and I find out that uh, one of my um, co-workers is a budding astrologer who probably knows more than, uh, you know, anybody, you know, just has that depth of wisdom, but always kept it as a novice, never went, it, went pro with it. And the conversations we would have and then going out and meeting people through um, that same job and their experiences with uh, the other side and, you know, uh, UFOs and a, you know, aliens and these things. And I'm using the words of, you know, the 1990s right now, but going, oh, wow, this all feels right. This is really interesting. And so I um, really got into a lot of that, um, started working with a therapist who introduced me to just some amazing spiritual techniques. We would do uh, day long um, or weekend long retreats um, through dance and um, drumming and other things to do release. Worked with a uh, channeler who um, was so helpful in guiding me in time for me to really grow some of that and connect into it and really have those kind of intuitive pieces wake back up for me. Um, I think um, my late 20s is when I um, started seeing um, spirits again. My grandfather and great uncle came into my room coming for my grandmother when she crossed. Um, and of course, at that time, you know, I everything had been suppressed because as a, a child, I was kind of punished for having these gifts. So it scared me. And um, I kind of turned it off a little bit, you know, and I was having psychic dreams, you know, prophetic dreams, things mm -hmm. like that were coming through and I didn't know what to do with it. Um, and so I kept kind of, I kind of suppressed it a little more because I was in, you know, in the big girl world of, you know, had a daytime job, you know, had a day job that yeah. took my time. So, and really, um, then had children, but was continuing working with these people. You know, I had energy workers working on me when I was pregnant and um, really helping me and guiding me through a lot of that, working with that same therapist. And so uh, it really, as, as my children got older, and I've heard that sometimes it gets suppressed, at, you know, because we have so much focus going towards our children. Right. Um, but as I got older, it really um, started opening up again and spirits in my house. And I had a portal in my house and I'm seeing these um, earthbound spirits who had hard um, 
not crossovers, but hard uh, deaths and um, figured out uh, with the help of a psychic medium who came in and helped me shift that energy, cross over the spirits. And then I started working with her and others to clear homes and land. Um, but it was really kind of this side job that we would do, you know, every once in a while um, while I was still working in the corporate world and um, kind of kept it all suppressed. Not really suppressed, but, you know, in the background. Speak about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, as I, uh, though, as I allowed myself, I had like a healing crisis at some point and um, I decided I was done in the corporate world. I couldn't do it anymore. And I actually went back and one of those letters that you uh, gave at the beginning, um, functional nutritional therapy practitioner, FNTP, um, I went back and started there, back in um, the um, functional medicine world and functional nutrition world. Um, and that really was kind of my guide in, even though I was doing energy healings, um, having energy work done at that time and um, you know, got into that and, and I was like, there's so much more, this is holistic. This isn't just about food, you know, and, um, and got to experience these incredible certifications and mentors who were talked about, this is not just this. And, um, one, as I went through my third certified food and spirit practitioner, she opened a world to some incredible, um, mentors and people as we went, we did webinars. So my webinars would be from functional nutrition to shamans and, you know, getting that experience and also getting, being seen by people, you know, was so helpful. One of them said, uh, you know, she can take care of this on her own. And I was like, what? I can take care, I can heal myself. I can, I can work with these past lives myself. Oh, okay. You know, and I started experimenting with it and uh, figuring it out. And um, so it just went on from there and bringing in um, quantum human design after years and years of studying astrology and seeing how human design or quantum human design, which is um, the work of Karen Curry Parker, um, human design is Ra Uruhu. Um, it really helped me feel even more seen and understand who I was from a soul purpose perspective, because it gave me that blueprint to go, oh, wow, okay. You know, my life, it has been like this and it has been conditioned in this way to where these things were suppressed. And that just really opened up and allowed things to blossom for me. Um, and the rest is, uh, really history. So... <laughs> Yeah. And isn't it amazing that when you kind of like, you know, all that, those years ago when you started going to um, to, the, to those shops, that mm -hmm. once you start walking that path, people come in and things start opening up for you. And if you follow that breadcrumb, it takes you to another breadcrumb and then another breadcrumb. Mm -hmm. um, but when you actually are, um, suppress it and go, no, I'm not going to, it kind of like stops that flow coming to you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I noticed that because my focus um, during 2020, I was doing a lot of the um, nutrition work at that time and um, had started studying human design and energy healing. And I remember um, in one of these webinars, I met my spiritual mentor and he's actually who introduced me was like that big being that's in your room. That would be Metatron. <laughs> You know, you're supposed to be channeling Metatron. I'm like, oh, okay. And he said, be, and he explained it as this anxiety gap. Because I was suppressing everything so much, I had like this anxiety gap that was holding me in the space when I had this ability to, you know, broaden and expand my levels of consciousness. And working with him has been um, really what has uh, brought me back to that path and purpose and has helped me on my healing journey through a lot of autoimmune issues. So um, yeah, it just, yeah, those layers come in and that suppression really, you don't realize when you are not on purpose that 
it can, you know, bring up yeah. a host of things. Yeah, yeah, t totally. And, you know, and I think that's, you know, with, there's, you know, and obviously this is my own personal view, but a lot of children today, young people today that have all these issues, mm -hmm. it's kind of like they're not being allowed to Mm -hmm. be their their true essence their their their, mm -hmm. their 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 true their true spirit I don't, don't know if you if you sort of like agree with that I mean how does it work with your children yeah yeah well no and I can see that with my children highly sensitive um and but you know have been in that on that road of you know we're still breaking down those systems um and those systems were put in place, place for a reason. But as you know, as we're recognizing the multidimensionality of people and their gifts, you know, from neurodivergency to, you know, ADHD, all of these things are these beautiful gifts, these alternative learners. You know, I have one child who's an alternative learner and it's because, you know, they see through music and so and they're highly sensitive so working through that but tr still trying to be in the system of college and university and high school you know is is really a balancing act and seeing uh where that can go you know once they are beyond that will be really interesting um so yeah yeah but they know about my abilities. They've seen how they've grown and they've seen how I've changed as a person and as a parent um, because I've allowed and opened up to spirit and, and all that there is to explore. And uh, yeah, it's brought through uh, great, great um, wisdom for me in so many ways and i think i'm a better person and a better parent for it yeah yeah and, and i and i think there are more parents that sort of like are now you know waking up so to speak and going actually no actually my my you know my my child is unique and special and i'm going mm -hmm. to nurture them with with their abilities their gifts i'm not going to make them suppress or say no you're you know this is wrong etc mm -hmm. and allow them to expand but also to be there to support them when the mm -hmm. educational system kind of like tries to suppress and mm -hmm. and, and stand that and stand that down mm -hmm. but yeah as right. you said, it's, it's a fine balancing act but i think changes are going have started and are going mm -hmm. to be occurring in the educational system um, yes in 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 the future um you know and definitely doing future life progression work definitely the education system in the future is so much better for children and young people mm -hmm. so much better yeah yeah i love that i was actually listening to one of the shows that you did um and uh about that actual topic and it's just i love it i was just intrigued by it all and so yeah i love i love hearing that and you know i and you know going back to human design i you know, when I understood my children from that perspective, it was so helpful and understanding and parenting from a perspective of, okay, I have one child who is a generator with an op open throat who um, needs to have her, their, her voice heard. And then I have the other one who is a straight manifester who it comes through and just comes out the mouth and really honoring both of them in the way that they they are and who they're supposed to be has been um, really helpful uh, for me. And I think it is helpful in parenting. Um, I have a, a good friend who wrote a parenting book on human design and it's just really enlightening and helps, you know, people navigate the, the energies and the differences of our children. So I mean, we're all going to have conditioning and things that we have to let go of, but I think it gives us more of a springboard for our children to be further along than, you know, we were, you know, Generation X, we were suppressed. And, um, you know, our, our parents did what they could do with the tools that they had. So 
um, I think we're here really making those changes so that it's there for the next generation. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and human design is really sort of like coming more to the fore now. You know, mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm hearing about it so much more uh, mm -hmm. than, than I used to. And I think there's more people that are looking at human design and understanding mm -hmm. it. But again, it's also, you know, all these things are now coming more to, you know, to the fore, you know, um, you know, you know, it's I think I think it kind of like started with the um, with the mediumship um, mm -hmm. and then it sort of like got onto the angels and mm -hmm. sort of like opened the path for more different um, uh, modalities mm -hmm. um, to actually start coming in and people to actually start hearing about them. Um, and especially now that we are right. going into that quantum multidimensional um, energy as well. Um, and I know mm -hmm. um, from from astrology, I'm not astrology myself, but from from someone I trust, um, you know, sort of like May 27th, I can't remember what the planets are, but, you know, pe people are going to want to do more education for, you know, mm -hmm. for a whole year, there's going to be you know, we are all going to be able to learn more and we're going to want to learn more, mm -hmm. um, we, you know, which is absolutely amazing um, yeah. ab about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really expanding their consciousness around um, what is out there and what is available to all of us. I yeah. love that. Yeah, no, it's, it's absolutely amazing. So so do, do you get a typical client come to you or do you mm. you know or is it just anyone and anything that that sort of like um, goes oh yeah I'm just going to go and uh, see Heather today yeah it's really interesting because uh, my clients come in when they are um, at a point of major minor crisis you know, and uh, they are looking for some shift and transformation. They are stuck. So I um, really try and I always do a discovery session with people because I find that that is helpful for us to see how we work together and also for me to connect into their energy and see what they need. You know, from functional nutrition, I learned bioindividuality. And so really looking at them as an individual and seeing what their process needs to be to unlock their um, true potential and their true authentic self. And it could be, you know, I'll, I always do their, their human design first just because I find that, that that's a great place to step off because people who have not felt seen feel seen finally. And so we'll usually start with quantum human design, human design. I use both traditional and quantum language when I do it because some people are at, at this point, some people are at this point. Mm -hmm. So, um, but, you know, and then it'll really kind of unfold from there as we look at, wow, okay, I am the certain type and I don't know how to respond correctly. I'm not connecting into my superpower as a generator type. And so we'll work on that. Or it could be that we need to do some um, emotional release. And I do a, a technique that my um, spiritual mentor uh, founded, and it is a light uh, emotional release technique, light trance relaxation um, work. And it is really helpful for shifting those places that where we need to decondition and from that might have been in our childhood you know up to our our age now and so we'll work there and then i really like people doing um getting uh people on the table for a spiritual energy healing i um did a two-year uh course that uh, utilize the tools of Barbara Brennan as well as other techniques to work um, within the energetic fields, um, the multiple uh, fields. And so I really like doing that because after we've done all of that other work, uh, the, you know, that feels, it's tough. It can feel really tough. That shadow work is not always 
it's not fun. And, but it's okay because once you get to the other side of it, there's the relief and being able to go and work in the energetic field for them and release it on an energetic level uh, more than just in that emotional release. Um, Cause I do some energy work within there, but it's almost like a big mama bear hug to them, you know, in comfort and uh, just allowing them to kind of feel safer when they move to move forward. So it really kind of depends. We usually have four or five sessions that will work together. And then a lot of people continue on monthly after that. Uh, and, uh, but then there's some people who will come, who come to like my sacred circles that I did, which were psychic mediumship um, groups that I did on Sundays. And they're wanting to connect with their guides and their angels or their, or the multidimensional beings who are their guides. And so I have worked with people who uh, are ready for that work. Um, because they are shifting, they're already in the healing field in some way, and but they're shifting and they may feel burnt out, run down, and connecting them with their guides and the angels who are there to support them to take on the burden of the energy um, is really, really fascinating and so interesting to me. And a lot of times within that, though, I am doing some kind of ancestral work with them or, you know, or we're doing the emotional release because, you know, that is what's holding them back. So it really is this flowing alignment of how each session is going to unfold with the client. Um, but I always love being able to connect people with their guides and their angels have them experiment with them for a week or two and then come back and go, yeah, that felt really good, you know, and then utilize it in their daily lives with their clients when they are, I have um, a death doula client who I introduced um, her to her guide and um, angel to help her, Archangel Azrael. And um, being able to see how that has helped her energy flow, you know, when she's working with clients. So I really love working with people in these ways to help them shift. So I, you know, as I, as I transform and shift, I think about, you know, what do I call myself, you know, and I really feel like it's a transformation guide, you know, because even when I'm clearing a house and home and land or a business space, that's about transformation, yeah. you know? And so I really take that into um, account when I, I'm working with people and I love when they get to graduate and because they feel empowered and, and come and say, Hey, I think I'll be ready for a session in a month, two months, three months. Let's, and I celebrate it because it's so yeah. exciting that, they are able to really tap into that divine connection that everyone has. Yeah, no, I, I love that. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. I love, you know, you know, with, with the people I work with, you know, mm -hmm. my, my role is to, you know, help guide them on that spiritual path to, to, to the point where they just, you know, spread their wings and soar uh -huh. and just go and do whatever they're supposed to do, be, you know, and I'm just, and, and it's, and it just feels so brilliant and amazing to be able to mm -hmm. be part of that journey with them. So, so I understand yeah. where you're coming from on that. Uh -huh. It really, it really is a, such a, such an amazing um, energy. So mm -hmm. you mentioned a little while ago about Metatron. So how do you find working with Metatron? Oh, oh, once I connected in with Archangel Metatron and knew, understood the powerful energy of um their energy. It was, it's been amazing. Um, when I was told about that, I, um, I'm a three, five in human design. So I'm, I'm an explorer or called a martyr heretic or explorer, um, visionary leader in quantum human design. 
Um, but I really allowed myself to experiment with it and um, started finding these people on YouTube who worked with the energy and which led me to the next person. Like we were talking about, you find each person and getting to connect in. And once I started connecting into Archangel Metatron, you know, he works in conjunction with um, Archangel Sandalphon and working, getting to work with them together. And that energy was amazing for me personally because of uh, how it works for me. But working with Archangel Metatron has been so lovely. Once I got used to I think because I had had those experiences in my late twenties where um, I would actually see the energies in the room, I could see them fully. I had so a little bit of trepidation about sensing energies. So once I understood, oh, that incredible, just powerful energy that's been in your room is Archangel Metatron really embodying it is so much different now you know i've really connected with that and um and just really feel it it's it's wonderful and uh it just feels it feels like home for me now because it's just really this such an, a beautiful dance of uh of energy together so working with him um is is lovely i um he'll give me messages for the collective and so i share those on my social media uh, and i was introduced to one of his embodiments to hate or t-h-o-t-h um you know not not thought to hate um and really connecting in with all of those energies has been just lovely, you know, to be able to expand that energy. Um, but yeah, it's just for as powerful as this energy is um, being the, sc the scribe of God, um, it is the messages are so grounded and beautiful and full of love and light and, and hope for us to be that beacon for others and learn to be that beacon. Metatron is all about organization, the matrix, and really building those foundations and process and reminding us that it is a process to, you know, be fully embodied with that energy of spirit. And, you know, so I really love that I get to um, and I feel very honored that I get to work with Archangel Metatron's energy uh, to help people in that way. Beautiful, beautiful. And very quickly, because I've had my human sign down, uh -huh. but what's the difference between human and quantum? So um, human design and quantum human design, um, the difference is um, it's the quantum human design utilizes all of human design. Karen Curry Parker uh, worked with Ra, the originator of human design, yeah. um, was also a student of Ra's and was finding as she journeyed through it and taught it over, you know, the over the years that people were craving more empowering language for them. Um, still looking at the shadow aspect or the lower energy. So we're looking at it from that higher perspective and that lower perspective, the not self and the aligned self. But the quantum languaging really helps us um, feel more empowered within it, uh, knowing that that there is possibility within our blueprint. It's it's it is just human design. That body graph is just a roadmap for us. And we get to go left, on, like uh, uh, Robert Frost talks about, we've got, you know, two rows diverged in a yellow wood. We can pick the left or the right, um, but we get to decide and we have free will choice in this. And do we want to stay in the shadow self or do we want to be in a more aligned self, a higher expression of our human design? Because we all have that 
ability and we have that opportunity. So, yes. yeah, and I really like the quantum languaging um, because it does feel more empowering. Like, as I said, my profile is a three five. And when I heard martyr heretic at first, I, <laughs> uh, you know, those words are old words. You yeah. Know? And I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm a martyr, you know, and the way that I would grew up and my mom using that word martyr. I was like, oh, I don't want to be the martyr, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Um, but once I started learning the quantum human design language of explorer, you know, the three is here to experience and explore and then come forward and um, share what worked and what didn't work. Um, and, you know, the five is this, you know, the heretic, you know, we're ahead of the game sometimes. But when we're the visionary leader, we wait to respond to the right people at the right time. And then we're not looked at as the, you know, person who's way out there. We wait for that moment when we are supposed to. And that is through healing our, you know, conditioning. You know, once we have, you know, healed. For me, I have uh, two open centers. I have my, op I have an open G and an open will, which are the, basically I call it the high heart and the heart centers. Um, and they're all around worth self-worth and lovability. And once I healed that, I was like, okay, I don't have to be in that person's projection field. I can, I can take off and say no nope and put up boundaries. So it really helped me understand it from that quantum perspective, you know, this more awakened perspective and multidimensional perspective. Karen talks a lot about the quantum field and, um, you know, of possibility, but also the quantum field of energy between two people or within a group of people. So um, I really love the teachings of Ra as well as Karen and other teachers out there of human design because I, I do study them and have their books and utilize that wisdom from them as well because everybody has perspective to help the, of the client I'm working with. Beautiful. Thank you so much for, the, for mm -hmm. that, that explanation. So as you know, I do Angel Oracle Cards and Guide Meditations. And each week I like to ask my guests whether they would like me to do a mini guide meditation or put an Angel Oracle card for themselves and those watching. So Heather, what would you like me to do? Let's do an angel card today. I love, hey. I love working with the angels. Oh, they were in your hand. They're they were in my hand. I love doing, I love the cards. Mm -hmm. so it's always when I do the cards, um, it's for what we need to know for our highest good at this moment in time. So although I work with the past and take people back to past lives, it's so they can understand and heal from their past to be fully present. And when mm -hmm. I take people into the future, it's to know and understand their future so that they can always come back to the present because it is so important that we stay fully yes. in our present. So what does Heather and everyone who's watching this live or the replay need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? Oh, okay. Excuse me a second. <laughs> that was a jumper card. <laughs> that was definitely a jumper card. Okay. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. So the card um, that, that really wanted to come out was begin now, take your first step. Mm. Oh, I which love is, that. Which is absolutely brilliant, you know, and kind yes. of like ties in with what we've been talking about today mm -hmm. as, as well, you know, and, you know, it's kind of like confirmation for you, Heather, um, you know, that every time you take that step and you begin, it puts you on that path to new possibilities, new mm -hmm. adventures, new information, new people um, mm -hmm. coming in. And for everyone who's watching, you know, if you haven't yet stepped onto that spiritual path, you know, now is the time to do it. You know, we're in such beautiful energy um, mm -hmm. now that this really is the time to do it because you are so supported, not just by um, the angel spirits and the universe, but by so many people around you now, um, that support is definitely there. So take that mm -hmm. first step. You've got absolutely nothing to worry about. 
Right. Oh, that was lovely. Thank you so much. No, I love that message because it really is, you know, the, we as light workers, healers, we have that we are here and ready. We're on the ground ready to assist and support you and finding the right practitioner for you is what is most important because when we as the practitioner stand in our light as who we are, then you find who is right for you. And I, and, you know, in a collaborative way. Yeah, absolutely. And this year is all, you know, really about collaboration um, yeah. and collaboration doesn't just mean two people doing something to, you know, doing something together. It means, you know, people collaborating, you know, even having conversations um mm -hmm. uh, yeah you, you know even you know even two people at a bus stop that have that conversation that's the collaboration because you're both bringing wisdom and knowledge to each other um you, you know that you may not realize on a physical level but on a subconscious uh quantum level it's mm -hmm. it's it's a it's a it's a perfect exchange. So Heather, do you have any insights or thoughts or last words of wisdom mm -hmm. to leave our viewers? Yeah, well, I think I would like to just build on what you were just talking about. We don't really un realize, I think, sometimes on the physical level, yeah, our quantum beingness and how we do affect other people and you know, we are all healers in some way. So showing up and being present in those conversations at the bus stop or at the store, when someone asks you a question, you, you may be the person that is their catalyst for the next steps forward. And so standing in your light in that way and really knowing that it's not just about meditation and that the spiritual path is lived in every moment and good and bad. I mean, we have our moments, we have our humanness, but we also have our spiritual self that we um, connect into and realizing that and allowing ourselves to walk our spiritual path in presence and beingness is so important it's so needed right now um for others yeah beautifully said beautifully said so i hope everyone you've enjoyed this conversation and found it insightful because i know i definitely have so if people want to connect with you heather how do they do that so i you can connect with me through my website which is um integraholisticwellness.com or I am on Instagram and Facebook, and it's at Integra Holistic Wellness. I also host the Integra podcast, which we've talked about. It is on multiple platforms, and I am revving up for season two. And so I'm excited, and you'll be on there with me. I know. Yeah. I'm looking I'm forward excited. to it. Yeah. And also, I did want to. Um, share that I do a monthly collective healing meditation. It is, um, it was brought forth to me by spirit to start these, uh, because we are, it is a balancing act of the energies. We have so much going on, um, on the planet, whether it is nature or, um, there's fighting going on, you know, uh, that is this huge karmic energy that we um we don't know how to help and so it's really a time to come in and uh, monthly it's free and online and it's a time where we come together and heal our hearts first we do a grounding heart-centered meditation and then we pray you know uh, in not in the way that you know in, in a religious institution but you know we send energy um, and hold space for healing for uh, the wildfires or the tsunamis or, you know, the places where there is infighting going on. We hold space for everyone. So I, I do welcome uh, you to join 
uh, one of those. Like I said, it's free and online. You can find that on my socials as well. Um, if you sign up for my newsletter, I send out an email about that um, also. So I, uh, I welcome uh, engaging with uh, all of you either on, you know, in the comment section, but also uh, just send me a DM or set up a 15 minute discovery session. I love meeting new people and collaborating, like you said, you know, having these conversations and seeing how we can everyone can support each other yeah beautiful beautiful and what i'll do is i'll put those details in the comments after the show so all people need to do is just literally click on the link and they get taken straight there so they don't even have to type it in thank you so thank you so much um heather for sharing your wisdom it's been absolutely amazing And of course, if you are now ready to remember your divine presence and step onto your spiritual multidimensional path, but you feel lost or confused or stuck, then please feel free to reach out and connect with me and we can see where you are now and how you can move forward to take charge of your destiny so that you can spread your wings and soar and know that you're not alone on this journey. And of course, you can receive a free future life progression recording to discover your destiny by seeing into your future to get guidance and clarity that you can use in your current life, as well as a couple of other free gifts by signing up to my newsletter. And of course, again, I would like to thank everyone so much for watching. And I'd like to invite you to share this show. um, As uh, you know, I'm sure there are more people who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny, just like you, and you know, could really do with listening to Heather's wisdom. Um, And of course, if you are watching this on YouTube, then please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of when the show goes live or I post new guided meditations. You know, every single like, comment, share, whether that's my YouTube, my social media, Heather's social media, any of my guests' social media really helps get our messages out there so that we can be of service and help more people just like we're, we're helping you. Um, And I look forward to you all joining me same time, same place next week. Take care, everyone. Bye.